Why me? You may be wondering, why has this happened to me? What have I done wrong? What could I have done better? The answer to that is nothing. This illness can strike any person from any background. It, it has no boundaries. And all I can say is that don't feel guilty about it. It happens. You might feel bad about not being able to breastfeed or not being able to look after your baby as well as you'd like to or not being there all the time if you have to go to hospital. But when your son or daughter grows up, you know, in 10, 20, 30 years time, they'll remember you as a great mum, no matter how the first few weeks went. Trust your family. If you're going through this purple psychosis episode at the moment, you may wonder who to trust. You'll be told lots of things by lots of different people who are probably telling you the right thing, but you won't know which is real and which isn't. When I was ill, I trusted my family. I knew that whatever my family told me was true. Um, and that helped me a lot. If you're the partner or relative of somebody going through this illness, talk to them. Don't ignore them and assume they don't understand what's going on in the outside world. They do. They can take it in. It's just what's coming out is not normal. You don't have to feel guilty. It is a normal feeling that goes along with um, this illness, especially because you've got a little one to look after. But it is natural to feel guilty as a mum. It's really nothing to do with the illness, and you will feel better. That feeling will go away. Symptoms can be bizarre. Some people suffering this illness can get hung up on various things. Um, you could avoid purple yoghurt, for instance, because purple psychosis sounds like it's connected to the colour purple. You could end up um, writing extensively throughout the night. You could think your daughter or son is the son of God. Even if you're not normally um, religious, all of these things can happen. Um, that is just purple psychosis. For me and my husband, I think one of the things that helped us to get through the experience um, best was having friends and family around us. So if you're a relative of somebody who's got purple psychosis, I'd say just be there for them as much as you can. Also, be there for dad as well as mum, because both people in the relationship um, are going through a really tough time and they're going to need your help and your support in practical and emotional ways. And for dads especially, I'd say don't be afraid to ask for help because um, you've got a lot on your plate too. Roller coaster ride. You may feel like you're on a roller coaster that you can't get off. You're high at the top of a, of a hill one minute and down in the dip the next. This is purple psychosis you will get off that roller coaster. You will get better um, after uh, having an episode of puerperal psychosis. Um, you will recover. You won't be like that for the rest of your life. Just um, make sure you get the right support and help from your local services. Once you're feeling your old self again, you might want to think about having another baby. So if you do, really make sure you get as much information as you can and prepare yourself really, really well and get lots of advice. And if you do that, then it isn't out of the question. <laughs> For somebody suffering um, with purple psychosis, uh, you will recover. Um, you will get there, you'll get back to the life you had before and things will be okay with your little one. Um, but recovery is a journey. Um, it involves quite a lot of ups and downs, just the same perhaps as lots of people's lives do with a little baby, but you will get there.